What's up guys, it's your boy Ray back at it again with a new video for you guys today. Of course, freshly shaved. Wanted to look good for my viewers today because I wanted to talk about the Raw Women's Division, but more in particular, I want to talk about the championship situation that we have with Sasha Banks and our current champion, Asuka. So here's the thing guys, there's rumors going on right now that Sasha Banks is going to be defeating Asuka this Sunday at Extreme Rules for the Raw Women's Championship that would eventually lead to a big encounter between Banks and Bayley at SummerSlam and possibly a unification bout. And as much as everybody here is big on Banks, and of course I am too, I'm a huge Sasha Banks fan, but the thing is, I don't think that she should be the person to dethrone Asuka right now. As much as of a money match uh, between Bailey and Banks may seem for SummerSlam, for unification, for, excuse me, for unification belt, I think it's too soon to take the belt off of Asuka right now, considering we really, really need a big baby face carrying the load as champion with Becky Lynch gone, with Charlotte Flair gone, and of course, as I mentioned last time, there's no return of Ronda Rousey in sight. So keeping the belt on Asuka for the time being, I think is is super important. And I, I would prefer to have her have a longer title reign as well, because let's face it, there really isn't anybody else on, on that women's division, or excuse me, in that women's division who's a baby face right now that's got the, got the ball rolling as much as Asuka right now. And plus, a big match between Bailey and Banks doesn't even need to be in a title unification bout. Why does everything always have to be about two titles, unifying this, unifying that, what, whatever happened to just having one title on the line, or even then just having a grudge match. They don't even need to have the titles on the line to have a big match. These are the two biggest heels currently in the women's division. Is it a little too soon for them to implode and have that match at SummerSlam? Maybe, but I, I don't think you could you could stretch out this tag team that they got going on right now until something like WrestleMania because that's just gonna get a little repetitive uh, in my book at least. But yeah, let's keep the title belt on Asuka, okay? As much as everybody wants to see Bangs hold that championship and beat Asuka this Sunday, I think it's the best option right now moving forward to have Asuka remain as champion. I don't know who she can defend it with um, against at at SummerSlam just yet, but I would love to see some some NXT talent sprinkled in there as well. Um, but ultimately, I want to remain or have Oscar remain as the top babyface champion in the women's division. But I'm more curious to know what you guys think as well. Do you want to see Oscar drop the championship belt to Banks the, uh, this Sunday at Extreme Rules, or would you prefer to have Oscar win and possibly move forward with a long, long title reign that could even extend into or past WrestleMania? Hmm. hmm? Let's also take into consideration that Becky Lynch could be returning next year, and a big match between her and Oscar for that Raw Women's Championship that Lynch surrendered to could be huge. No, no, okay, yeah, that's a little bit of a stretch, but I figured I'd at least toss in that idea out there, right? right? Okay, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe, stay tuned for the next video, leave a comment below, I'll see y'all soon.